Thunderpole T800. It's an unusual set of standards. By Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Tally Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Tally Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Okay, so back with the Thunderpole T800. Out of the factory. It's in the UK mode, so European channels in the AM position, UK channels in the FM position. It's marked on the radio. Some ra some radios based on this chassis it doesn't tend to be marked, but on this one it is. So I noticed it had some odd banding in it in the last video, so it doesn't match quite what's in the instructions. So I'm going to read the instructions to you. So what it says in the instructions is it should say on the display for Italy or Spain, E1, it doesn't. I2 for Italy, 36 channels AM, FM, it doesn't. Minus D for Germany, which is um, 80 channels in FM of 4 watts, 12 channels AM, 1 watt. That simply isn't the case, I've checked this. D2 is... Um, 40 FM channels in Germany with 12, 12 in AM, 1 watt. EU, it doesn't show that one either, which is uh, AM, FM, but it's uh, one, supposed to be 1 watt on AM. CE, which is supposed to be AM, FM, I've checked this, it isn't. Negative U is another one that's on there, UK, which is correct. And PL is supposed to be the Polish frequencies. Now, the only one on those lists that match up is the CE one, but that's FM only. I've checked, like I say, I've checked it. U is correct, that matches up completely. And uh, PL is not, not on there, it's actually negative P, as you'll see shortly. So, to set the band, turn the radio off. Now, using the microphone supplied with the radio, Press down and then the PTT together and then turn on the radio. This puts it into the band selection mode. So we've got the U, which is the UK mode. Nine, that's actually G for Germany. That's what they're allowed. And then I've tested it, it's actually at four watts on AM. CE, that's FM only, I have checked that. N, now that I have no idea where that would actually be legal. I have actually checked that against the, the instructions of the PNI Escort 8, HP8000. And I will put the frequency at the bottom of the screen. So the frequency range for that. P, that's the Polish offset. Also used in Russia. F. That's another one that is a bit obscure and you shouldn't be using. E. On channel 12 of E, I know is 27 treble 5. So I have checked this. D, that's your CE PT channels in AM and FM at the full 4 watts. C is another slightly obscure one. I'm not sure where they'd be legal, but I'll be, again, the frequency will be at the bottom of the screen. B, um, again, I've no idea on where that would be legal, but again, I'll put the frequencies down below for you. And A. Again, not sure where that would be legal. So the only ones we're interested in, which I know are legal to use, is U in the UK. It's actually your UK 40 and your CEPT 40, but that's all FM only. And that's the default. G for Germany, if you, if you live in Germany or you happen to be travelling to Germany. That's that's the one you'd use. CE, that's FM only. And I can actually prove this. So if I put this down to here. That's some, uh, not switching to AM. So if I put it onto the D mode, which is the same frequencies,
Now we're in AM. So if I You, you can't hear the background noise as much because that's on AM. But it does transmit, and I'll show you. We're into a dummy load, so we're good here. It's showing about 3 watts on my meter, but I think it might be a bit overzealous, as I've said before. But it is keying up there. So, that's AM, FM. So, so that's actually doing what it's meant to do. So if you want to use the AM entitlement that we're allowed to use, you would select band D. Yeah, it's just got just got really old banding, I suppose. So yeah, let's go back through them all. So I'll go to the start. So we've got the C E band, which is FM only. Got the German band, got the UK band. But these A, B, C, D, well, D is your, your EU band in, in AM, FM. E, channel 12 is 27, treble 5. You wouldn't really want to be using that in AM or FM. And also, it's not really legal, is it? P is your Polish frequencies, so zero ending frequencies, not five ending frequencies. I haven't got another radio I can test this on at the moment plugged in. Because uh, the cigarette light socket's actually in use. N, when I looked at the book for the PNI Escort, I did find that quite obscure. Yep, so, that's really all there is there. So, we want it on the UK mode, which is this. Let's just put me in C, because I'm up there, there we go. Yeah, it's saying I'm doing about three watts out of that radio. So, it's a good little radio. I like it. And I'm hoping to get the, on, on the air t test and the car-to-car -car test done pretty soon, if I can get the volunteer for the car-to-car -car test. I haven't done that yet. So, what else is there to say? Knock that off. It's a... I still say it's a good radio so far, um, and I did put it on a car aerial after filming the last one, and it seemed to work quite well. So I'm in, so I'm impressed with it so far. So those obscure bands, um, as I said, the frequencies would be underneath each one as as you see them on the screen, and yeah, because that's something that caught my attention. It doesn't quite match what's in the book. So. I'll pop them a, a picture of what the book says up as well. I'll scan that in so you can see it. It should come up on the screen. And we can go from there, really. I mean, but it's still a lovely radio. That's quite interesting, that. Um, so, yeah. I think that's this little topic done on the Thunderpole T800. The obscure banding in it. So I'll go back through those just to, just to remind you on what they are. So, we've got your U, we've got your G, and we've got the CE, which are, and, the, and D, which are all the ones we're interested in. I have no idea what this N is, but, you, but you've already seen the frequencies to that. A P is the Polish frequency, so if, you go, if, you, if you're from Poland and you take that radio with you, you can just set it to those. Or if you live in Poland and you order one of these in, you can. So, you've got, you've got these... That's your AM, FM on your CEPT channels. There we go. We should be back in the U mode. Here we are. Good. So, the obscure banding of the Thunderpole T800. It's quite obscure, but whilst you're in the UK, you don't really need to change it unless you want to use AM on the CEPT channels. But if you're just nattering to people locally, I would personally recommend the 2781 frequencies, especially at this time of year, because uh, CEPT does get a lot of foreign interference 
So, but if you're chasing DX, CEPT is for you. So, so I think that's it all covered. So, this is Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Or, if you want to, on here on the CB, you can call me the Red Squirrel. There's that as well. And you can find me on the GB3IR repeater. I monitor it pretty much most days I'm at work. The GB3HD repeater sometimes as well. IR's also on Echo Link and IRLP. I think I've mentioned that a few times. I monitor CB channel 19 in the car, but usually all I'm hearing is the what I refer to as the Cleveland Burner Brigade who are just running too much power and are sitting on the 19. Although they did complain about the 19 being unusable last night and saying that 38 was the channel of choice. I mean, they should go at 38, really. That's just a, an observation. PMR446, I don't tend to use all that much because I do live in a town and I don't really get out much. But with the sunny weather and the lockdown restrictions easing a bit, then I can get out a bit more. So, so yeah, you can catch me on Network Radio's Channel 00 as well when I'm monitoring it, which is most of the time. So, and that's pretty much everywhere I am. I'm also on Twitter. There should be a link to that on my channel. I'll pop a link into this video, actually. Um, and uh, there's my radio communications blog as well. There's a link to that on my channel as well. So, stay safe, guys. Keep yourself out of the way of the virus, because it is still about, even though the lockdown restrictions are easing. So, just keep yourself safe. Look after yourselves, your, your loved ones, friends and family. And keep, keep going on the radio. We still have the radio. We still have CB. We still have amateur radio. We still have the PMR446. We still have the network radios. It's all still there to use. Let's just keep using it and keep that use going. And uh, if you're interested in getting any radio gear, whether it's CB or amateur radio gear, um, just you can ask me if you want some advice. And if you're new to radio and you want to take the the exam, you, there are I think there was some online there was some online courses running. I'm not sure if there still is, but I know the exams have been transferred to online for the foundation and they've um, uh, waived the requirement for the uh, what, what's the word of them they waived the requirement for the, the practical yeah the practical elements like like um, uh, SWR antenna sort of thing although if you've been doing CB a while you'll know how to um, uh, tune an antenna with an SWR meter so seven threes for now guys don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. 73 is from Paul, Mike, Zero, Whiskey, November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango, 730 on 11 meters and PMR 446.